for you guys. This is an opportunity of a lifetime for sure. I get to go fly in the extra 300 and it is my very first aerobatic lesson. And not only that, I'm here at Sun and Fun and we're going out during the air show, not in the air show, but during the air show. So a lot of strings have been pulled to be able to go do this. All right, let's get going. And boss, look at the extra is started. Uh, taxi in from the dropping ramp. Okay, slick taxi out to runway. Uh, tell you what, you want runway 28, winds light and variable? Yeah, we'll take 28. Taxi runway 28, hold short. The tower has the runway right now, but uh, they're launching some uh, uh, pushing back and launching some air zone. Slick copy, thanks, boss. Thanks. I'll be, let me know when you get there. Yes, sir, we'll do. So, Slick, just tell the viewers, uh, maybe just a second about yourself, what you used to fly, just so they have an idea of your experience level, because <laughs> it's quite experience in this type of uh, flying. <laughs> well, Ryan, I first want to say it's just a pleasure to fly with you. I mean, getting to know you and calling your friend has been awesome. Uh, my background is uh, flying the F-16. Just absolutely love the, the airplane and love serving my country, so, uh, you know, I got to fly the F-16 uh, and then go live like the Top Gun dream. I got to go through the Air Force Weapons School, and then eventually I got uh, invited to, you know, come back, actually, you know, like, just like Maverick in the movie at graduation, so a year after being a weapons officer, I got to come back and teach, and then while I was at Nellis Air Force Base in Las Vegas, Nevada, I got to uh, go fly with the Air Force Thunderbirds, so that's awesome. That was super, and then I... I you know, really started doing a lot of general aviation flying. I really, you know, of course, loved flying, but then getting to, to fly with these folks here uh, at places like Sun and Fun with that air show experience, I did all my transition to, uh, from my military to civilian ratings. Okay. Started flying uh, the extra 330, which is just a little bit uh, boosted up, you know, type of airplane like this. And then I started flying with a civilian jet team, uh, the heavy metal jet team and then the black diamond jet team. And then it went into business and aviation, which was uh, a very cool opportunity. And uh, yeah, here we are today. That's awesome. And Boss Slick is ready. All right, Slick, runway 28, call to make turbulence park 737, runway 10, right, clear for takeoff. Right, copy wake turbulence, clear for takeoff, runway 28, Slick, thank you. Thank you. All right, my friend, clear for takeoff, everything done. All right, I'm excited. Look, the wind is 030 degrees at 11. Gave us 30 minutes to, to go fly, which is we'll just remain around 2400 the whole time. Do you want to turn our belt up just a tiny bit? All right, my friends. So we won't do any aerobatics yet. We got to get outside of 10 miles, which we're almost there. So I'm going to give you the airplane, I'm trying to trying to trim it up for you, but okay, that's about it right there. All right. So my hand is on the stick now. Okay. You have the airplane. I have the airplane. My feet are back off the rudders. And you got it. Okay, so 24 to 2500 is what we want to stay at, or? No, you can climb up a little bit if you want. You know, we'll be above 1500 uh, for aerobatics. Okay. And what's the MSL here? Just, well, we're a zero foot altimeter, so you're good to go. Okay. I'm gonna now establish my sight picture here, what, yeah. what climb is, what straight level. So Ryan, you know, you're, you'll see this airplane, you know, it's a little bumpy today, but and you feel the bounces, but it's a really honest airplane. I mean, you look out at the wing. Look at how much aileron we have as far as roll authority. It's pretty That's crazy. incredible. And you got the same thing on the rudder and same thing with the elevator. There's a couple couple airplanes out there that do a little bit better, um, but it is it is an incredible airplane. It's almost like my flapper runs on my kit box. <laughs> yeah. And actually, the the controls are about as touchy as my kit box. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna make just some kind of turns just so I have an idea. Wow, that turns quick. That turns really quick. It's really different, right? It feels really solid, though. It's yeah. not like a mushy feel. It's just really, really responsive. That's wild. Wow, this is amazing. Yeah. I've never flown anything quite like this. In fact, I don't even know if I... I think I've flown, like, maybe two other low-wing airplanes. Oh, Everything really? else is just... Oh, yeah. I'm trying to think of what it, what it was. I flew a Yak and a T6. And I think that's it. Wow. Well, yeah, you want to give us like a like a turn to the left or something, just to get a feel for the airplane. Went a minute 
blown up. I'm always thinking about landing where there are not alligators. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, this is just like it just turns so yeah, just smooth. Like it's a it's light in the controls, but it's still an easy feel to fly though. Yeah, I, mean, I think if I would have gone from a heavier airplane to this, as opposed to the kit box that I'm used to now, it would have been it, it would feel really weird though. Well, for sure. I'm like trying to establish where my where my sight picture on the cowling is to do like a 45, you know? Yeah, it's perfect. Left thing, ready. It's, it's nice here in New Guinea, all you have is mountains, so <laughs> you have to have like an artificial horizon to keep yourself like right. knowing where you're actually looking. So, like in the F-16s, where they're like turning like this, is there any aids to get them to like turn to like stop at like certain places or what's the cue for them to stop, you know? Oh like, man, you're really spoiled as an F-16 pilot because the, the computer wants the airplane to be at 1G. So if you pull the, t the nose up 10 degrees, yeah. and you let the stick go, it'll just stay there at 10 degrees. Okay, that makes for the most sense. part. Yeah, yeah. For the most part. Wow, this is this is really a treat. Like it yeah. just feels so smooth. Yeah, man, enjoy it. I mean, this is, uh, hopefully we're going to do this a bunch, you know, in the next uh, few years or whatever, but getting your hands on the airplane, it's nice for you to sit back with a, with a professional like you and not worry about anything. <laughs> yeah, if you want to play around, climb us up about 500 feet, and then I'll demo a roll for you. Okay. All right, do you mind? I'll take the airplane. All right, you have flight controls? All right, I have the airplane. Okay, so the thing with, uh, with rolling the airplane, you know, People get really snappy and all that kind of stuff, and that's great, you know, but I think, you know, flying with you, you haven't done a ton of aerobatics. Like I said, our, our mission here is just to do some flying and enjoy it. So, what I'm going to do, Ryan, is I'm going to pitch the nose up, and then I'm just going to do a nice, easy, we're going to stay at 1G, and we're just going to do an aileron roll to the left. Okay. That down. And are you touching the rudders at all? Uh, I'm not going to need to mess with them too much, just on a basic aileron roll. We should be, with this airplane, pretty, pretty good. All right, so the nose is going to come up. Then I reset the stick, and we're just going to go all the way around. Ready? Okay, so you didn't go full aileron, it was just more like halfway? Yeah, that was about an eighth of the way. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so, um, and I noticed that I needed to, you know, give myself like two clicks of ratchet on the, uh, I don't know how you felt on that, but I just want to make you aware. Good. If you're good, that's fine. I'm going to adjust the air. Okay. Just because I don't want to make my spots go the whole time. No worries. But we will see how I do, because like I said, I get motion sick pretty easy when it comes to this kind of stuff. Okay. Especially when it's hot out here yeah. like this. Well, you know, let's just fly around. I'll have you take the airplane back. You All fly right. around. And I've got the flight controls. Yeah, you got them. And then uh, we can play around later. All right. So I'd like to do one roll, and we'll just see how it is if I'm doing it. Yeah. So you want to do it this direction, or you want to go back? You can do it however you'd like. Okay, so I'm going to just pull up. I'm going to go to the left just like you did. Okay. And starting now. Hey, let me talk to him. Thank you. Very nice. Get my head to catch up with you. I'm sure that I would probably get used to doing it, like the more yeah. you do it, but I can feel what you were saying about how you're right on top of all the axes and yes. you kind of feel like you're swagging around. Yes. And it's a little bumpy. Yeah. Well, let me try one more and we'll see how I feel. I'm okay. feeling like okay, but not awesome. Yeah. Rolled well, out a little early. Right. Nice. Well, so I didn't realize that you didn't really have to touch your rudders at all. Is that it with all airplanes? No, that's just a this because there's so much aileron. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, it's really, really optimized. If you like the nice crisp rolls. The screen doesn't work. All right, let me try one to the right. Okay. Let's see. Think about how I'm gonna do this. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I do roll out just like a hair early every time. No, you're doing great, man. Like I said, this is a uh, an interesting airplane for it. You know. Yeah. It's very, very responsive.
Now what's this right over here, the accelerometer? Uh, yeah, that's your G-meter, so we've pulled positive two Gs so far. You're doing what now? Tower. We have pulled positive two Gs. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it actually like saves what you've done. That's right. 2.3. 2.3. I think the most I've ever done is four Gs on a loop. Wow. And um, yeah, it was interesting. A feeling that's very unnatural. <laughs> right? All right, let me try one more to the right. Okay. Boss, tower. Go, tower. Yeah, Tampa call. They've got uh, F-22s 25 miles out. Well, that was a little bit better. To do with them. I already wanted to do with them. Oh, well, when we have about 10 minutes left, then, then we can go and do a bunch of things. Okay. Um, that way I only have 10 minutes of sickness. <laughs> okay. But I would li I'd like to try another loop, though. Or another barrel roll, I'm sorry. Yeah. Go off the left this time. Now, you have to pull back a little bit? Or not really. No, not really. I think you have a little bit, you know, this is like nine level uh, discussion. So when you when you pull back on the stick to bring the nose up, just reset it back to center because you have a little bit of back pressure in and that's why you're kind of twisting around. But, I mean, we're talking minor stuff here, but. Uh-huh. Yeah, we kind of say it's like flying the cross, like up, down, left, right. So if you pull back, then reset to center and then give it the aileron input to left or right. Okay. And let me try one to the right now. Very nice. So was it hard for you to get into aerobatics and not feel sick, or you just don't get motion sick? You know, I don't. Uh, luckily, I mean, I do get seasick, and I have been seasick, and it's horrible. I can't imagine that feeling in an airplane, so I'm very um, empathetic to my friends right. and passengers that don't feel well flying. Yeah. Uh, but I will tell you, like, the odd thing, I think I told you, you know, like, like, my little, my kids, I sit on the swing set with them, and I'm like, oh, daddy can't do this anymore. Just that really? repetition of swinging. Um, and then also, if, if I haven't flown aerobatics for a long time, uh -huh. uh, then I will feel it. Okay. Yep. That's really interesting. Yep. Yeah, when I first started flying, I didn't know I was going to be able to even be a pilot because I would just get sick flying with the instructor. Right. And it really wasn't until I started flying myself that, okay, maybe I can do this. But even now, if I go fly even overseas, I was flying with another pilot. If I had my head down for three or four seconds, man, I'm like, oh, I don't feel good. Well, I'm sorry I'm not more fun. I no, guess. it's great, man. <laughs> like I said, this ride is pretty good. Well, for the viewers, I mean, this is this is an E3 aviation airplane, and maybe we could just talk a little bit yeah. between the two of us what exactly E3 is, because I know there's a lot of questions, and even when I first started learning a little bit about it, it I was kind of confused on what it is and maybe what it could offer somebody. Uh, Maybe in your own words, what do, you, what do you think, what would you want out of E3 Aviation? Because, I mean, there's there's not only E3 Aviation, but there's like camping and 4 by 4 and off-roading and guns and things like that, you know? Yeah, you know, I mean, the biggest thing for me is, you know, I just love community. I love being able to reach out to uh, to somebody and, you know, find a mentor, you know, it's, if it's whatever hobby that I'm into, I want to, you know, like, be the Renaissance man and learn it the best I can. And, from other people that have you know, learned learned the hard lessons. You know, I don't want to have to learn them. The, I don't mind doing it. So, you know, that's the thing with E3. I mean, the three E's are empower, educate, and entertain. And I think you know, through those three things, you know, empowering other people to be passionate about aviation, and you know, we empower them by you know, sharing our connections, right? I mean, you know, the, the fact that some of us can reach out to a guy like you and say, hey, let's get on a call and talk about how we can collaborate together. Yeah, I mean, that is is amazing. You know, we we're going to educate folks by you know sharing the experiences, being available to our members, and you know, we want to create like I have this like this concept in my mind of like these master classes of like you know we have various uh, folks that probably start you know started out as influencers, started out as uh, known quantities in the aviation industry, and you know they're bringing us their you know time, talent, treasure, and, and their amazing abilities, and then you know from an entertaining standpoint. Yeah, that's one of the things that really stood out to me is just the expertise on all the all the guys that are making the content, things like that. I mean, I feel super honored to be a part of this, to be able to even share a different aspect over in Papua New Guinea. Like, it's so different than what most people have ever seen before. But, right. yeah, no, I'm really excited to be part of the team and really excited to see some of the new content that's going to be coming out in the coming months. Well, thank you. I mean, we're we're pumped to have you. And, you know, there are companies out there that are dying to work with us. And they're like, hey, can we, can we give your members a 20% discount? We're like, exactly. absolutely. So, you know, the membership, we hope that it, 
you know, it, it will pay for itself within the first year. I mean, like we had, I mean, things that you don't think about, like the tax consultants, right? Yeah. And we had these professionals over. Now, let's just use the example of buying an airplane. Like, you buy an airplane, you might save, you know, $50,000 on your taxes if you own a business or something like that. I mean, that's going to pay for your E3 membership for your lifetime and beyond. Yeah. Um, so those are the, the value propositions, you know, really kind of put your business hat on on. You know, but besides the entertainment, the connectivity and all that, I mean... You have your ADSB on? The real dollars out there. All right. You want to do right. one loop before we head in? All right. Let's do it. Okay. So you can set it up power-wise, things like that. All right. We'll be and if you want to just tell me, walk me through what I'm going to do, if I do it, rather yep. than you doing one and then I doing one, then it'll yep. be like double sickness. Right. <laughs> okay. So you just want to, you want to fly it? I would like to fly it, yeah. Okay. okay. So what you're going to do, just going to push the nose over. Yep. We want 160 knots. Okay. Okay, so so push over. All right, you want to tell me everything the steps yeah, okay, first? So, yeah, so we'll, we'll push over. We'll go through it. Knots, so. All right. Okay, and then we're going to do a nice smooth pull. Okay. So you got the... Uh, right to about four Gs. The, uh, you don't have to yank it, which is a nice smooth pull. Uh, okay. We're going to get through the horizon. Uh, and then, uh, through 2,000. You don't, okay. uh, then you can just relax the back shift pressure a little bit, let the nose fall through the horizon, and then as we get going, uh, point it straight down, uh -huh. then you can go ahead and blend in the, the back stick pressure. Just don't yank it. We don't want to get into right, an accelerator itself. How far out are you? All right. Okay. Yeah, nine, we are, All right. You have the airplane. I'm going to follow you close on the stick, and if I need to take it, I'm just going to say I have the airplane. Very good. Okay. Okay. Like one okay. That'll be good. All right. Down to 160. Shooting the ILS. At least 160. Yeah. Let's try to get push it up quite a bit. Okay. Now pull back. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. Keep going. Now you can relax just a little bit. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Sorry. I thought that was you. <laughs> oh. That's good. Yeah. There you go. And Mayo, if you can talk to Raz, Ooh. I need to know when he's on his way to Homestead. I know he's got a through clearance. Was that just going through the same? What's that? Was that us going through our own wake That's turbulence? That's right. I was going to say you did a perfect loop because we hit our own wake turbulence. <laughs> I wondered what that was at first. I was like, oh, what the heck? Texas in three. Texas, so a quick time. So, okay, so at the top, okay. I must have pulled off to the right. Yeah, yeah, I thought that was you at first. Yep, no, I, I thought you were going to roll. I was like, oh, boy. Um, but yeah, okay, you just had a little bit of roll at the top. All right, let me get my breath for a second because I'm not feeling you have flight controls. Okay, I got it. All right. I'm just not feeling good. That's okay. How many more, Bayo? I need to get you in, man. I got the, uh, the KC-135 to get in also. Drop the gear and go to right base. Clear to land, runway 10, right. Clear to land, 10. Select, proceed inbound about uh, one mile south of the field for a right downwind. Inbound. We're right down with Quick, thank you. I'd uh, be number three following the Mustang on the right base out there for a full stop. That's my second sight. Yep, not sure aerobatics is for me. <laughs> <laughs> if only a simple loop will get me a sec. We will get you on the ground. <clears throat> I feel a little bit better now. That's usually what it takes is just to get it out of you. Yep. And boss, look, I can pick up a right base runaway one zero. I don't see you yet. How far out are you, Slick? Uh, about one mile. Wagging my wings. Smoke. Okay. And both the Blue Angels are ready to taxi. Okay, taxi them via the, uh, tell you what, taxi out, hold short of uh, Alpha Taxiway. Okay. okay, Slick, I want you to fly through uh, the final, and I want you to land on runway uh, one zero left. One zero left. That's a skinny runway. Copy, one zero left, and we're going to be crossing the center line of one zero right here in about ten seconds. Thank you very much. I got traffic on the runway. Tell you what, Slick, change that back to runway 10 right, land long. Plan on a right turn down there past midfield. Thank you, sir, land long. Appreciate the help. Thank you. Okay, Tyler, the Blue Angels can taxi via Alpha Taxiway. They're going to runway 10. Okay, we'll let him know. Okay, thank you. Get these two down, they can have the whole airport. Thank you. Slick, thank you so much for taking me out on the flight. I really do appreciate it. I'm sorry I got sick, but that's just how it is for me flying things like that. Even my voice now is like all crackly, but oh, man, you it was great, so much, man. so much fun. I, I mean, really this do is the machine, it. and you you ruled it, man. It was awesome. Awesome. Thanks so much. Hope to do it again sometime. Absolutely. Thanks, thank you.